Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to your practice. Now this class is designed to be your timeout moment when maybe everything feels a bit much, you're overwhelmed or perhaps something stressful has or is about to happen. Feel free to come here as often as you need. This is that grounding space for you to gather your thoughts, focus on your breath and just kind of come out of that crisis mode. Just grab yourself a cushion and maybe position yourself near a wall. You might like to use that for our inversion today. But this is going to be such a slow, chilled practice. And I just really want you to know that whatever it is that you're going through is going to be okay. Beginning our practice today in a nice wide-legged child's pose. So coming to a kneeling position, bringing the big toes to touch and taking the knees as wide as you like. From there, we're just going to allow our arms to walk out, bringing our forehead down to the earth and resting here. Now you have a couple of variations. You can keep the arms outstretched long. You can always bend the elbows and take a prayer over your head. Or you might like to tuck the arms underneath you, grabbing hold of the opposite heel. And just sinking in here. This is your safe space. Just now drawing attention to your breath. And just trying to work with lengthening the exhale. So perhaps breathing in to a count of four. And then breathing out to a count of six. When we work with extending our exhale, we're activating our parasympathetic nervous system. That rest and digest mode that takes us out of our fight and flight. And allows the body that moment of respite to gather itself See if with every exhale you can just let go a little more. I'm so proud of you for taking this moment for yourself. See if you can feel that for yourself as well. Couple more deep breaths here. Beginning now to draw yourself back up to a seated position. So if you've had your arms tucked underneath you, just Taking them out in front of you again and then just gently allowing the body to come back up to a seated position. Now I'm just going to turn so you can see me. But from here we're coming into our deer position. So I want you just to simply shift the hips onto the floor towards the right. Now you've got your um, sort of your, both your knees in this bent position. And I want you to take the right foot and place it on the top of your left thigh. Still on the mat though, so not like on top of this part, but on the mat. And I want you to flex that left foot. So now you're in this really nice position where you've got these sort of two nice triangle shapes. From here, inhaling to sit up nice and tall. And then as you exhale, just turning towards the right and drawing yourself down towards the mat. Now you might just come to the elbows and find that that's enough for you. Or you might find that you can sink a little bit further. Maybe you're stacking the fists 
and allowing the forehead to rest there. Or perhaps you're just resting the head down onto the hands or onto the mat. Just chilling out here in this relaxing twist. Still trying to draw the breath deep down into the abdomen. You can feel a little restricted in this twist, but just see how you go. Is there anywhere in your body that you can just relax a little more? One more deep breath in here. And then exhale. On your inhale, press into the hands to draw yourself back up into a seated position. And we're going to take this to the opposite side. So here, just switching the fold of the legs. So now you have the right leg coming beside you and the left leg coming in front of you with that left sole of foot on the top of the right thigh. From here, inhaling to sit up nice and tall and then exhaling to twist over to our left side. Just relaxing down onto the floor, finding the space that works best for your body right now. And acknowledging that it might be different on this side. Seeing if you can just relax a little deeper. And maybe while you're here, just bringing to mind one positive thing that's happened in your day today. Together, let's inhale and press into our hands as we bring ourselves back up into our seated position. Releasing the legs now, just giving them a little shake. And this is where you'll want your cushion or maybe you'll want to come to the wall. I've got my bolster here. So bringing your cushion onto your mat and then taking your hands behind you and just allowing yourself to draw down to your spine. Here we'll press into the heels to pick up the pelvis and then slide the cushion or the block or whatever you have, or just to lift your legs up against a wall. We'll inhale to lift the legs if you're on a cushion and then exhale into position. Now, if you are using a prop to prop your hips up for this inversion, you'll know if you're in the right place, if you can just relax here. It's sort of that sacral area of your pelvis, that flat part of your lower back. And it just allows the legs to just rest up and the belly to relax. And once you've found that spot, taking the arms out long beside you, closing down the eyes and settling in here. Inversions are like the switch you flick 
when you just want to come to that parasympathetic mode. Turning upside down just automatically tells our body to relax. And this is a really great position to come to if you ever have a lot on your mind or maybe you've been on your feet all day. You can hang out here for as long as you like, really. Maybe using this time to bring to mind a couple of things that you feel grateful for today. It can be anything. Maybe as small as someone smiled at you today or maybe the sun shining or maybe you're just going home to a nice dinner tonight, whatever it is. You might like to play with gently moving the feet, maybe gently swaying the legs from side to side slightly. Just allow your body to tell you what it needs from you in this moment. And then from here, we're just going to gently allow the legs to come back down to the earth. If you're against a wall, just slide yourself out a little bit or roll to one side. And if you have been working with a cushion, just gently lifting the hips and releasing it out to one side, allowing the spine to come back down to the mat. And here, stretching out for our Shavasana, taking the legs long and wide, arms wide beside you. If you're working with any low back injuries and this is not that comfortable for you, you can always bend the knees and then allow them to drop in towards each other. using these final few moments of your practice to release any negativity and to perhaps consider the kind of energy you want to work with for the rest of your day. I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana and know that you can stay here as long as you need to and that this practice is always here for you. Sending love. Namaste.